Hey people, my name is Aaron Nathaniel Jem. Welcome to Jem's house. Today, I'm going to be cooking a sick crab risotto. Let's go. Cool, so we have about 100 grams of Dorset crab, about 35 grams of Parmesan cheese, preferably grated, about 10 grams of dill, 10 grams of chopped parsley, about 100 grams of mascarpone cheese, and about 25 grams of cold butter. It's really, it has to be really cold, guys. And I have this very fragrant um, log stock. Okay, guys, you see how clear the stock is? It's like nearly, nearly a consomme, actually. But the thing is, um, the recipe's on my, on my bio, and it has to be filtrated, because otherwise your stock will be cloudy, and your rice will be thick and too thick, and it's not gonna be very good. Risotto is all about the stock, all about that flavor, all about that intensity. So, oh, again, and I thought our rice as well. So, some chefs love to use arborio or cannelloni. For me, personally, I always use arborio. It kind of absorbs more liquid. And guys, we have this lovely crab butter that I made. It's literally just crab, a little bit of stock, and butter, and seasoning. That's it. Okay, guys, here we have the onions and the celery just sweating down softly. Right now, I'm gonna add the rice. Risotto, it needs to be hot. I need to feel the rice to feel the heat of the pan so the rice absorbs all the liquid. So, yeah, I've cranked it up now. Kind of sweat down for about a minute or two. Once the rice has sweat down, add some of this salt, golden salt. So, so now you're actually seasoning the rice. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's making that sizzling noise now. Now I'm gonna add my white wine. Not too much. Let it now cook out slowly. Let all that white wine reduce. Scraping all the sides. Putting all the rice back in the pan, guys. Risotto needs to be incorporated slowly so it releases more starch. If you just bang it all in now, it's gonna be lumpy, it's gonna be not very sexy. Since you guys, I'm gonna promise you that sexy way of doing things. So as you can see, it's it sizzling now. Putting it back in the pan, guys. Otherwise, you have some rice cooked, some rice not cooked. Look about one more minute on that. Okay guys, now I'm gonna add my hot stock. Can you, can you get that sizzle? That's what you want. Okay guys, again, hot stock, hot risotto. As you can see, you don't want to cool it down because it's going to be lumpy and it's going to um, stop the cooking process of the risotto. So if you come to closer, you can see the rice slowly absorbing the stock. You know? The rice is changing colour. That's what you want. So once it reduces, slowly, 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 add some more stock to it. This is a very gradual process, but trust me, it's a very easy process. That's it, keep stirring. Hey guys, and ladies as well, taste as you go, it's very important. It's gonna be hot, of course, but you need to know when your rice is cooked. I reckon about, recommend about seven minutes, seven, eight minutes, it's perfect. This, we're here about three minutes off. Again, I reckon it's more seasoning. Get some salt, it's not too much, guys. Yeah, keep stirring, guys, always keep stirring. So, mascarpone first. Mascarpone first, parmesan. And then the crab. Let that mix. Again, always add in that stock. What you don't want is a soup, but what you don't want is a big fat lump. Yeah, that's perfect. Always shaking, guys. Shake, man. Always shake. Now, add my herbs. Now, and then the butter. Slowly, guys. Everything nice and slowly. I want to monte it. So I want to take it off the heat and just kind of monte it in. Nice. Wet. Kind of sexy kind of look, you know? This is what you want, guys. See this? This 
this is all because I've added the stock slowly, added the ingredients one by one. Oh, and guys, for this second as well, I'm gonna add some yuzu. It's a Japanese lemon. You can use lemon juice, normal lemon juice from the garden or from the shops. But I think this adds a different dimension to your risotto. It'll give it that extra oomph. I'm gonna add a little bit, not too much. Again, always shaking, guys. Always keeping it moving, you know? Okay, we want to taste that seasoning quick. See if it's good. A little bit more salt. Guys, right, look at that man, that's perfect. Wow. Here we have our nice, sexy, creamy risotto. I'm gonna plate now. Don't put too much in the pan and then in the bowl. That butter's obviously gonna melt, guys. Dill. Just scatter it anyway, guys. Like that. And I like a little bit of olive oil in there as well. It's not too much. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what you want. Hey guys, you have it. And this is how you make a simple, classic, flavoursome risotto, guys. You have everything you need in this one dish. Rice, butter, seasoning and stock. Let's go guys, Gems House. Mm -hmm.